about six or seven years ago in Dublin when I was invited for the first time to adjudicate at the Fesh Kjol. And there were, of course, many excellent singers there. Regina was one of the outstanding ones. She had an excellent teacher who felt that it was time that she came to London. And we had, the teacher and I had known each other, Nancy Calthorpe, through the uh, Association of Teachers of Singing. And so she kindly suggested that perhaps I could take Regina and that she would be happy for us to uh, do that between us. She did come regularly, right through Trinity, of course, when we had lessons there. And then subsequently when she was at National Opera Studio, which was her next development. And then when she gained the YCAT help from the agents there. YCAT, as we know it in the agency world, is different from ordinary agencies because it's not a commercial agent. It's a charity set up to launch young musicians at the beginning of their career and we audition, which other commercial agents don't do. We hold auditions once a year, three rounds of auditions, and we choose to represent only those artists who we feel have the potential for an international career in music. <laughs> to London I really needed not to have to worry I wanted to just dedicate completely and utterly to see had I a, a potential career and you could only do that if you give yourself 100% to trying to improve and thanks be to God I had the sponsorship I mean I got it from private f friends and um, and also from companies well there comes a time in the life of a young artist when a particular opportunity comes their way and if they can take it, it can make a huge difference to their career. That time came in 1989 for Regina Nathan, when she was offered a place at the National Opera Studio in London. And ESB was approached to see if we would be interested in supporting her in her studies there. So we obviously were aware of Regina's talent, and we decided that we would support her. And this bold Irish boy was my pride and my joy. And I built him a bower 
to get something from singing and when I don't I feel very shortchanged when I don't put in what I want to put in it becomes meaningless you know you have this voice and it's empty the whole thing for me isn't just the voice and 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 work it's it's very much learning personal learning and that makes life more meaningful for me and I think it's the same with everybody's talents if you use them in the right way your life your living becomes more full and, um, and when you stop doing that it becomes very very empty. Dus luisteren naar Regina Nathan in het Nationale Orkest van België onder leiding van Rona Alexander. I used competitions. Queen Elizabeth was the biggest I did. I've always used competitions because in Dublin you had the Fesh Cure which when I went to London, I realized how important that fesh kjol, those fesh kjols, I mean, all the festivals, they are so important because they give you, um, you have to get up and sing in front of an audience, you know, and from a young age. And it's very, very important. It stands to you forever. I also use competitions to learn new repertoire. But these international competitions, when I decided to do them, I decided I wanted to know what it was like in the international scene. I didn't want to be afraid of it. And they just seemed an easy way to get to go to a country, suss out the, the feeling, the culture of the country, see how the music works, how, it is, how important it is in different countries. And uh, they were just international auditions. As it turned out, I wasn't expecting to do well. I was there to learn, and it was just an extra bonus that I did so well. I'm delighted.
you're lucky enough to get through one round, you have to build up the same. It's like it's like building up an energy for for recital work, and to build up that same level again, say in two or three days, it's it's constant. By the end, I've always been absolutely exhausted because you're not only talking about the performance, you're talking about the nerves that go into a competition, trying not to. It's it's different. It's completely different to performance. Right, excellent. I think that we, yeah. That's all right, I'm you're it's worrying about this. Move, well, that move uh, drives you uh, to slow down. I mean, uh, I, I, I it really shouldn't right. do. It shouldn't, because uh, still, that was almost right, but mm. it wasn't really right. Uh, so if you can just keep it going. I mean, we can always cut it. It's not crucial, but it would be nice if we can keep it. It's right. I mean, if it's, you see, if it's much looser, it's actually quite loose. Yeah. It's actually, actually quite loose. I think it's just that there, literally. Because it's quite a built-on. Yes. There's oceans of room under there. There's oceans of room under there. Because we've let the bodice out across the back. Yeah. And the sleeve has gone as far as we can let it go. I mean, I can let that scene go, but then we get back to the nasty line. Yeah. New sleeves? Yeah. New sleeves are the beginning. I would love if the...